What's up guys, it's your boy Bon Jen and it is that time of year again. Yesterday, Timmy Cook blessed us with a beautiful, beautiful update for everyone's favorite mobile operating system, iOS. iOS 10 is gonna be available for everyone in the fall, but we got public beta coming next month in July, but developer beta is out right now, and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features from iOS 10. So right off the bat in iOS 10, you have raised to wake. What this does is it basically senses when you are pulling your phone out of your pocket and it lights up the display for you. You don't have to press any buttons. You don't have to do anything. It uses the accelerometer to let the software know that your phone is being lifted and it just um, wakes up for you. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the fact that they got rid of the slide to unlock feature. The feature that has been with us since the very first iPhone back in what, 2007? Anyway, now when you slide it to the right, you get this brand new beautiful notification center complete with all your widgets you can add more you can delete widgets you know it's just a great time and then if you swipe to the left it takes you to your camera pane you got your photo video you know all this all this good stuff and this is a really welcome update because this is the first major design change to um, the ios lock screen since iOS 7, really. So yeah, I, I love this. Next up on the home screen, let's pop into the Notification Center. Notification Center has been enhanced with 3D Touch. 3D Touch on your notifications to get more options. Go into the app, look at content, peek and pop, you know all the good stuff. But what's really cool in the top right, if you press and hold um, 3D Touch the X, you can clear all your notifications at once. Stellar. Control Center has also been redesigned from the bottom. Just swipe up. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more customization in Control Center, but at least they changed some stuff. Now, um, on these controls, you can force touch to uh, get more options like flashlight, high, medium, and low intensity. Now, if you swip, swipe to the left on Control Center, you have a dedicated music pane, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. I really like it. All right, so let's jump into this newly redesigned from the ground up crispy Apple Music app. If you recall, the current Apple Music app is just a, just a little bit of a clusterfuck of just content. And this new one is obviously more streamlined. Huge focus on the content, huge focus on the album artwork. Um, I personally do not prefer this new design, but I do prefer how everything is simple. As the previous Apple Music was like literal eights, like you couldn't find anything. And it looks like here they got rid of uh, the connect feature, which no one used. More emphasis on the music, of course. They finally got rid of uh, my music and replaced it with library. It didn't make sense that they had my music and for you. So everything's like a lot simpler. Everything's tucked away nicely. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the new Apple Music app. <sighs> now iMessage, oh my God, iMessage just has a, a, a slew of new features. First off, my favorite feature in iMessage is you can turn on read receipts for individual contacts. So, you know, if you don't want your girlfriend to know that you read her message, but you want your friend to know, iOS 10 is the operating system for you. iOS 10 is the operating system for me. Emojis have been made three times bigger, which is cool. You got these new text effects. Um, so when you send um, messages, they like either shake or um, slam down or come in really tiny and then get a little bit bigger and there's this thing called invisible ink which is pretty cool and you got these full screen effects which are uh, pretty cool I mean I'll never use them but you know they're there uh, you know just all these features that uh, Facebook Messenger has had for like <clears throat> 15 years or so um, but of course when you have a group chat and there's that one person with that Android phone they basically ruin everything so just kick them out of the group chat and enjoy your iMessage like it's supposed to be enjoyed iOS 10 lets you delete stock apps I got rid of maps I got rid of iTunes, I got rid of Find My Friends, I got rid of the Watch app, I got rid of all that crap that I never use. Thank you Apple for finally realizing that your apps uh, suck ass and um, not forcing your users to deal with them anymore. Of course I said earlier, if you wanna get this, make sure um, you're ready to just have a shitty phone for a couple weeks because nothing will work. This is the earliest developer beta they've released. In two weeks they'll release another one, and then two weeks later they'll release another one, and then the public beta will come out, and it gets a little bit better as the summer progresses. But as for now, I'm just uh, dealing with a phone that just destroys the battery in 15 minutes or less. So if you have like a second phone you wanna throw this on, go for it. What iOS 10 could definitely use that I thought they were gonna include, which they didn't, night mode for everything. That would be chill so my eyes don't bleed when I read at night. I mean, night shift is cool, but like system-wide night mode would be a lot chiller. Uh, split screen, 
and picture in picture, look how big this phone is. This phone could definitely handle split screen and picture in picture. Like, those are the things I was really hoping they would add, but you know. But you know how Apple just likes to dick you down and not give you what you really want, so, you know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching my iOS 10 best features review. Um, if you wanna get iOS 10 yourself, it's really easy. I'll provide a link in the description so you can get that. Um, and yeah, have a great day, peace out.